Hi guys, it's Tracy and I'm back to make sure my microphone is on. <laughs> I am back with a new video today and it's been a while. I haven't been feeling good, so I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> and uh, today's the first day that I was like, mm, I think I'll make a video. Mister's been driving me insane, wanting to, to come out here and like, you know, get his moment of fame so he's here he's looking out the window right now but yeah so i'm just gonna do kind of a little get ready with me and we'll see what happens and i'm gonna use uh i picked these up at walmart the other day this is the milani gilded violet and the milani gilded jade and um if you're looking for these, you can find them at walmart.com right now for $7.49. So if you've been wanting them, they're on clearance. I got mine in the store and they were $9. But I didn't have to pay shipping, so I still ended up getting them less expensive in store. So in store, I found them for $9 and the whole, almost like everything Milani there was so much clearance stuff, you guys. I should have took some pictures, but I didn't even think about it because I wasn't really feeling the best. And I was just like, whoa, they had the stick foundations for like $4.50. I didn't pick one of those up because I didn't think I really heard too much talk about them. And then I thought, well, they probably are not that great if no one's talking about them. So I skipped out on those. And But yeah, they had lipsticks for like two bucks. They had a lot of stuff on clearance. So if you have a Walmart, check your Walmart. And then I got the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. This is their new cream bronzer. I got this at my uh, Walmart on clearance for $3. I was like, oh my God, I had this written down on a list of things that I wanted to try that I had heard people compare this to the milk bronzing stick like as a cheaper option. And I had had this written down and it was $3 at my Walmart. And they had the highlighter stick, I didn't pick that up, but they just had tons of clearance right now. And I was talking to the associate that works inside the little Walmart department, I mean the little Walmart department, the makeup department. And she said that they're getting ready to like redo the whole cosmetic section. So there's gonna be lots of clearance. So if you guys are looking for drugstore makeup, check out your Walmart. So uh, let's see, what are we gonna use? I think we'll try the purple one today. It's really pretty. Let's see, do we need some? And it has two uh, highlighters in it too. So let's check them out. I love this, the darkest purple here. Let's see. Ooh, that's so pretty. I always have my watcher in the way. There's a couple of swatches. Let's, and, and I was like, I saw these and I was like, they're on clearance? And I was like, these haven't been out that long. I, am I wrong? Am I just like forgetting things? Because it seems like these are, I, I mean like maybe a holiday release or something. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's been that long since they put them out. This, um, this color, it feels really super, super smooth. It's a, definitely a different texture than the lighter one. Ooh, that has a nice purple shift to it though. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's the other one. It doesn't really look like you can see them very well. But yeah, I was like, I thought these just came out and I, they were on clearance, so. And they had, oh, they also had the, little um, 12 pan ones. They had the Pure Passion, which I already have, and they had the Soft and Sultry, and those were $7 each, so they were half price. And I'm just like, ooh, I really need the Soft and Sultry one. And I'm like, girl, you don't need another, you know, no, you don't need it. You you have the Sultry palette, and like, you have the Juvia's Place Coral palette, you don't need it, and I talked myself out of it. I've been getting really good at talking myself out of stuff, so kind of proud of that. But yeah, I do talk myself out of quite a bit because I know I don't need it. I already have had primed my lids with the Milani eye primer. And I just went into this, what is that called? Heavy petal. 
I think that's what this is called, heavy pedal. You guys know I can't see. I need to go to the eye doctor. I just went to the regular doctor and got all my lab work done and they just called me and said everything was fine. So I'm all set. My birthday is next a week from this Saturday and my son, he uh, sends me a message and he says, oh, I'm going to remind Dr. K that you're turning 50. I think you're going to need that colonoscopy. I'm like, boy, you better shut up before I put your teeth in your throat because I don't need a colonoscopy. Thank you. <laughs> I used to work in the GI department. I know what goes on. I've been there. I've seen it. Yes, I have. Well, hello. Do you want to say hi? We have the cat, Chihuahua Symphony. It's all going on today. So yeah, my son thought he was real funny reminding me that 50, that's when you should be getting a colonoscopy. I'm like, I'm not ready for that yet, but thank you for the kind reminder. <laughs> like that doesn't run in my family, thanks. Uh, so that is all. Don't have any plans for my birthday. I'll be 50, but you know, not a big deal. My daughter is coming to, for the weekend. Her boyfriend, they'll be here. We always have fun. So it'll be a good time. We usually spend it laying on the bed watching Netflix <laughs> or live PD. She really likes live PD. I mean, we both like live PD, but she doesn't have um, TV like at her house that she watches. I don't have cable TV, but I have, uh, what's it called? It's this website that you can watch TV for free and it's totally legit, totally legal. And you can install it on your fire stick. So I've been watching all the cable that I want and like, it's the same exact thing that your neighbor's watching, but you're watching it for free. And I haven't had cable for like probably over two years now. And then I saw this and I was like, no, and I did it. And now I'm like, can't stop watching TV. I, I don't hardly watch YouTube, I've been watching TV. I like to watch Investigation Discovery, Discovery, um, A&E, Oxygen, those kind of channels, so. I've been watching lots of TV. And so on Friday nights, I get to watch live PD live. So it's pretty cool. If you wanna know what it is, just send me a message on uh, Instagram. My Instagram is listed down below. I don't know if that was exactly a mat, but we're gonna go with it. It's the center shade here. I'm gonna get ready to film a favorites video too. It's, I went in with this one. Almost doesn't look matte totally, but that's okay. I don't have a rule that you can't put anything shimmery in your crease. Yeah, the dogs are going psycho. So that's pretty much it here. I Let's see, it's been a year, that I, a year ago that I had my knee surgery. And I just went to the knee surgeon and I'm getting another set of three injections in my knee. So I went on Tuesday this week and got, and we're coming up on February 1st. So I'm not sure when this is gonna, if this is gonna post before or after. So I got one of the injections this past Tuesday and then the week before that I had gotten one. So I just have one more next week and you can get those like every six months and they really seem to help because my knee's really bad. So it did help. So as often, you know, once every six months. So this is the second time that I'm doing them and they seem to be, you know, at least helping as with this, you know, the surgery too. And um, it just, Went to that appointment and what else? Dude, could you move maybe? I mean, damn, take up the whole friggin' table, please. He's like, I will, thank you. Um, maybe I'll just use my finger. Should I use my finger? 
Should we go in with the, what's that one called? Something I can't see. I'm gonna try this light one here and see what it looks like. I like that dark one, but I think it's a little bit too dark. And this one may be a bit too light. This is more like a topper. But I already committed, so I guess we'll see what happens. So that is all that I have been doing in my life. And husband's calling. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am not sure about the eye look. I, you know what, I always forget to like zoom you in. Um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna see what I'm to put the rest of my makeup on and then I'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line and I'll use some of the highlighters and I'm gonna see if I may need to put something matte and then put the other shade over it, but we'll see. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I finished up my, well I did my whole face actually. I used the CoverGirl new, what is this called? Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I use this, I have it in the shade Light Medium. And then I tried out the bronzing stick and I think it worked out pretty good, it's nice. And then on my lips, I have this Joa uh, Bullet Lipstick and this is in the shade Bestie. It's just like my favorite kind of color, a nudie brown. And I, I, oh, I added um, some of the first shade that I was, or not the first shade, but one of the shades I added some of this shade here all over the lid and then I put this on top and it had fall out all over my face. So I don't, you could probably see it if the light catches it. So yeah, a little bit of fallout. If I would have used a glitter glue, I think that would have been fine. I guess we don't have to be so close now. And then I'm going to try this highlighter here. They are calling it Seeing Stars. And I did put some of that in my corner of my eye and I do need to put something on the bottom lashes, don't I? Yes, I do. What am I gonna do? I wanted to use this really deep dark color but I'm kind of afraid of it. <laughs> so I think I'll use the, mm, the one that I put on my lid. I'll just use that. It's still kind of dark, I guess, for the lid. What were you running from, fool? He was running away like somebody was coming or something. He, he missed or knows when someone's coming up the driveway or the, we have steps in front of the house. So he knows like if someone's coming up the steps, he knows like before they even get to the steps and he takes off running and hiding. He will hide. There's a cabinet in our hallway. He likes to, yes, he likes to get in that cabinet like when any, if anybody comes to the house and he can't get into one of the two bedrooms, that's where he hides. Like if both the kids are here, he'll be in the um, cabinet hiding out. That's his spot. Yes, I'm talking about you. I guess we don't need too much on the bottom. We have enough glitter on the face, right? <laughs> So I think that's good and that's gonna be the completed eye look. I'm just gonna pop on some of my Wet n Wild Mega Last. Um, what is this called? Mascara. On the top I used the crappy mascara that came in BoxyCharm, this Petite and Pretty. It's petite all right, it's a super small tube and it's, it's kind of uh, clumpy. And I've, ha I've only had it like, what, three weeks, maybe a month. And it's very, very clumpy. And if you try to like build up like a second layer, it, it starts to look pretty clumpy. So that's the eyes. I'm gonna do the highlighter with this highlighting brush from AOA. It is their F19, I think. They had, um, or they do have right now $1 shipping with a minimum $5 purchase. So I ordered some sponges and a couple of these brushes. 
I've heard people compare this brush to the Anastasia highlighting brush. So I thought I would pick up, I think I picked up two and I got two of the reg, their regular sponges, not the Papa ones, because I wanted to try the regular ones and they have a new nude shade one. So I thought it would be good with the um, makeup, you know, not staining it. So far it's a pretty decent sponge. I mean, feels just like any other sponge. It's nice and squishy and bouncy. So I like it. And this brush is nice. You can see that purple hit. So, ooh, I like that. It's really pretty. So that is the Milani Gilded Violet Palette. If you're wanting this, check out walmart.com or check out your local Walmarts. They may have it. I happen to get to my Walmart like just as they didn't even have these marked yet and I had seen them at the other Walmart and I had asked are those like on clearance and she scanned them and she said yeah they're on clearance and then she they hadn't even put tags on anything yet and usually I get there and they just have the tags and all the items are gone so I was able to pick it up before she even got to tagging the items so I got there at a perfect time so I may go back and like take a peek and see if there's anything else I want. Anything else that they've marked down that I can't live without. I'm looking for a new concealer for under my eyes. I think I'm going to you buy the Born to Glow concealer. That's the one that Marlene from Fab and Glab, Fab and Glab, <laughs> sorry Marlene. Fab and Glam Over 50, I think is her channel name. Um, I asked her like, because she was saying she doesn't like powder under her eyes and I'm like, me neither, because it makes me look old as heck. I mean, I have serious wrinkles under my eyes. And so she suggested that one. So I think I'm gonna buy that one and see how it works out. I used the Pretty Vulgar one that came in the box. It's not a very good shade match. It's actually too dark. I mean, it's like my skin tone. So in that sense, like, yeah, it's okay, but it doesn't give me any kind of brightening. So, yeah, I like that highlighter though. And I think that bronzing sticks pretty nice. So check out your Walmart if you want some good stuff on sale. So I think that's going to do it for today for Mr. and I. I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you liked the video and to let YouTube notify or let other people like my video too. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of new videos. And if you are a returning watcher, thank you so much for coming back. And if you made it all the way till the end of the video, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.